A brief look at financial news of the 50s and 60s, which were assumed lost forever, have been found at last. The National Film Theatre is putting on a season of TV classics, such as the first episode of Z Cars. Nick Hyam has had not so much a preview as a second look. When the first episode of Z Cars went out in 1962, its realism came as a shock. It was as controversial as the idea of putting policemen into patrol cars with radios seemed to old-style coppers. I'll tell you this, John. I won't have any of my lads sitting in plush seats out of the rain, playing at Raymond Glen's earning on a wireless set. These old programmes have considerable historical interest, but all copies of this episode of Z Cars were thought to have vanished until one turned up in Cyprus. It takes careful detective work by enthusiasts like Steve Bryant to track down lost programmes. It's an episode of At Last the 1948 Show made in 1967 by Associated Rediffusion. We found it in Sweden, where I assume it's been since the late 60s, when it would have been sold for transmission by Rediffusion. The 30-somethings at last night's showing of old children's programmes had gone to be entertained, not educated. It's curious to see how, how bad some of the television programmes were in the old days and how far we've come. This Rolf Harris show was last seen in 1967. The technical quality of the recordings isn't always perfect. The BBC lost this episode of Steptoe and Son, but one of the writers, Ray Galton, turned out to have a copy made on an antique home video machine. And once more, viewers can see Harold Steptoe's political pretensions being punctured. Ah, yes. There'll be plenty for them to do here. Table tennis, rat hunting. <laughs> Stan Getz, the jazz musician and saxophone player, has died of cancer at his home in California. He was 64. He'll be best remembered for popularizing the bossa nova in the early 60s with his version of The Girl from Ipanema. Stan Getz was an innovator of cool jazz, always the supremely melodic improviser. Music 